okay? You asked, you begged, you pleaded. So today, I'm gonna teach you the lip rolls. Now, before going any further, I really must say the lip rolls are an extremely difficult sound. Please don't be discouraged if you're not able to pick it up right away. I certainly couldn't. It's also one of those sounds which is so specific in how you do it that it's actually extremely hard to explain it. As such, and I'm probably never gonna do this with any of my other videos, I actually encourage you to look at multiple tutorials for this sound. Everybody teaches it a slightly different way. You may be able to find one that works better for you than my method. And that may seem a little counterintuitive to send you to other beatboxers, but it's something that might help. In particular, my Pint Size Pal Track 9 has a really, really good video on the lip rolls, and a great video showing some variations as well. I'm gonna pop the links for that down in the description. Do go and check them out and show her some love. Now, for a bit of history on the sound, lip rolls are a relatively new sound which have become extremely popular due to how bassy they are, particularly when performed through a microphone. And while a lot of people use a lot of the variations of the lip rolls, today I'm only going to be teaching you the basics. The variations can wait for another video. So, the lip rolls. It is an inward sound which is done using only the air in your mouth, so the entire action is done using your tongue. This means you can hum while you're doing them. The positioning for your lips is extremely similar to the reverse kick, which is... So for that... We are sucking the air in using only the left side of your mouth, right at the very back, in the corner. That's the same position for the lip roll, more or less. Now, you have to kind of tweak that position in a little bit, so instead of getting the... You get a... And this is done by a combination of the tension of your lips, the positioning of your tongue, and the speed with which you're pulling the air in. Now there are a lot of ways to try and learn this. Um, specifically, people have tried to teach me by pulling my lips back physically. Um, but for me, the best method was to simply do kick drums and reverse kicks very quickly. Now this is because if you do them unvocalized, as I just did, you can do them without having to stop for a breath. So you can do them very quickly for a very long time. Now, while you're doing that, just kind of play around with the positioning of your mouth a little bit. I'm going to demonstrate here by kind of slowing it down a little bit and going from a standard position to the lip roll position. You'll really hear it when it starts to come through. Once you've kind of pinpointed that sound, you can try to draw it out and slow it down a little. And then you have the lip roll. So once you've learned it, you can try and use it in some beats. Do you have any comments or questions or requests? Do you just have any other fun ways I can poke fun at Track 9? Please let me know down in the comments below, I read every single one of them. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for me.